Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Welcome if you're new, if you are, please hit that subscribe button. If you're interested in becoming a member, check out the join button and see the various levels of membership available to you. Thanks to all my existing subscribers and my wonderful members, new and old, your support is very much appreciated. Right, on to today's topic. What we're gonna talk about today, we've got a little bit of an entra and purview tie in here. One of my wonderful members asked me about uh, enabling the Microsoft 365 Dynamic Group membership uh, settings for sensitivity labels. It's not something I'd specifically looked at before, so uh, a big thank you for suggesting that topic. So I thought we'd dive into it and see how we enable this feature and how we use it. So without any further ado, let's take a look. So to get our labels available for Entra, there's a few steps we need to take. In Entra, we need to go to Groups, All Groups. I have one set up here called Dynamic User EC. If we go into that, we can see all of the properties, and you'll notice that it's a Microsoft 365 group. Membership type is Dynamic. And note that there's no option here to apply sensitivity labels. So. What we need to do first is make sure that this group is correctly set up for dynamic use. And you can see the rule syntax here has user department equals marketing. So with that in mind, what we want to do is switch over to the Microsoft 365 admin center. And here we go. Let's pick on a user. We'll pick on Adele Vance and we'll go into the contact information section of her user object. We can see her department is currently set to retail. I'm going to change that to marketing and I'm going to save those changes and contact information updated. All is good. Okay. Let's close that off. Alrighty, back into the groups. Let's go into the members. We've already got two members in here dynamically assigned, actually. Alex and Megan must have that marketing in. If we do a refresh, we, we don't see Adele immediately. It takes a little while for the dynamic membership rules to apply. Okay, so what do we need to do next? We need to follow this article, this assign sensitivity label support, and we need to work through the PowerShell steps in order to get this feature up and running. So I've already installed the modules that I need. Uh, so let's just uh, go through and into the PowerShell. I've already done all this actually because it took a few goals to get this right. So I wanted to do it uninterrupted. So first we have to do this install module graph current user and graph beta current user, just to be safe, I did it for all users and all users as well. And then once that is done, we need to connect hyphen MG graph. And when you do that, it'll come up with your login credentials and MFA and all that good stuff. What I did after that was I just did this specific connect MG graph uh, syntax here for the scopes of directory read, write all, just to make sure I've got all those read, write permissions to make the changes that I need to make. Then from the uh, the learn page, we, we copy and paste in this this script here, which will enable the MIP labels. So that's the bit that is, and the value is true for that. That's that's the bit that is key. And when we hit on values there, after that command, we'll see all the values here that we, that we need. We can see that our MIP labels are set to true now, and all is good. The next thing we need to do is go into the security and compliance PowerShell by going connect hyphen IP PS session. And once we're connected to that, we need to execute hyphen Azure AD label sync. Okay, so with all that done, we can now check to see if these settings have taken effect. You should not be surprised if this takes quite a while to do so. I've seen it be quite quick. I've also seen it take up to 24 hours, maybe even a bit more. Microsoft recommend that you wait that long. So. Back in the groups here in the Entra Admin Center, we have a look at our group once again, our dynamic group here. And let's have a look and see if we now have sensitivity levels in the properties. And indeed, we don't. So we need to be patient. And uh, what I'll do is I'll now, so I can finish the video, 
I'll switch to a tenant, which I have already set this up on, and I know it works. So let's do that right now. All right, so in my separate tenant, and I'm in the Entra Admin Center under Groups, All Groups, and I've gone to set up a new group. The type is automatically set to security, and you'll notice, and it's a key thing to remember, that you can't do this with sensitivity labels for security groups. It has to be a Microsoft 365 group, which makes sense because Microsoft 365 are, are the, the cloud-based groups that we have available to us. So if we change it to Microsoft 365, we can now see we can assign a sensitivity label to this. Now, what we can also do here in creating this group, we can have this set to dynamic user. Okay. Dynamic user members. Let's add our dynamic membership rules. And I'm going to do it pretty much the same way that I did it for the, uh, the one on the other tenant. I'll go department equals, and I'll put in marketing. Okay, there we go. So let's uh, go to save that. And that is absolutely awesome. What I'll make sure I do is go and put in some of these tenant uh, members, tenant users to be marketing and uh, make sure we've got some populated there so we can demonstrate this uh, more effectively. So what we can also do though, is we can assign a sensitivity label here. So let's go ahead and select the confidential label there uh, as our label of choice. So all good. Uh, it would actually help if I went ahead and created a name for the group. So what I will do is I will call this uh, dynamic users PR in this case. So I'm deliberately doing that because I happen to know I have that same group name in this other tenant with as a security group, and I can't get rid of it easily. So we'll just uh, make it slightly different, but the, the principle will be the same. I'll, um, I'll I'll give it a description as well. Give it a good description. Uh, Microsoft Entra roles can be assigned to the group. Um, yeah, we can. Uh, no, if you if you say that, it uh, it changes the membership type. So um, be wary of that. So a dynamic user, is that going to mess up my query? Uh, no, it's not, which is good. That is good to see. So that was a, nearly, a, nearly a mistake. But let's go ahead and create that group. And we are uh, in good shape. We should see that in there in a few moments. Okay. Right, so here is the group. I've opened it up now and I'm in the overview and let's have a look at the properties. We can see what we've got in here. We have our dynamic membership as we just set up. We've got our label set up as well. Let's have a look at the members. I went in and ensured that these two users here, Sid James and Stella Gibson, were set to the marketing department in their user objects. So they are dynamically assigned to this group. Anyone else that we set up in the tenant uh, with the marketing department will also automatically become a member of this group. So let's now take a look at what this actually means when we share a document with members of this group. Let's take a look at that next. So the specific question that my member asked me in the comments of my channel were if I were to assign a sensitivity label to a Microsoft Entra dynamic group, and then I were to share a Word document to the group, would the doc automatically then have the sensitivity label applied to it from the group? Interesting question. And I must admit, I didn't know the answer. So I tried it, didn't seem to work. So I thought, mm, maybe not what it's meant to do. So I asked Copilot here, as you can see, and the answer is no, assigning a sensitivity label to a Microsoft Entra dynamic group does not automatically apply that label to documents shared within the group. Sensitivity labels in Entra are primarily used to classify and protect the group itself, such as controlling access and sharing settings. To apply a sensitivity label to a Word document, you need to manually apply the label within the document itself. This can be done through the sensitivity bar in Word. 
If your organization has configured automatic or recommended sensitivity labels, the document might get labeled based on its content. Okay, so that makes sense to me. I, th I thought I would run through what my member asked me just to, to, to share with you the experience that they had tried and, and how that looked uh, and what it did and didn't do. So, so let's take a look at that next. Okay, so I'm now in a Word Online document. I've called it Marketing Briefing. Uh, I've just typed in a line of text. I don't have a sensitivity label manually assigned to it, although I do have them available. I could assign them here if I wanted to. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share this document with that dynamic group. And I can do that by clicking on Share and then adding in the group name or email. And I'm gonna start typing that in and we can see I have the one that I just created, Dynamic Users PR Members. So let's do that. Let's just uh, put in a message. Here is the doc and let's click on to send. Okay, you've invited Dynamic Users PR Members to edit marketing briefing dot doc X. Awesome. All right, so now I'm logged in to Outlook on the web as Stella Gibson, and we can see that she has received emails about being part of the Dynamic Users PR group and also received that invite to edit the file. So if we click on to open that file that I shared with the group, we can see that uh, she can open the doc. We can see that I am still in the doc. Uh, all good so far. So just a reminder that my member asked me if uh, the document was shared with the group, would that have a sensitivity label applied to it? Well, there is no indication that that is the case. And from what we've read, that is what we should expect. And if we drop down, nothing highlighted there. So, so that is the expected behavior, so it seems. I can see why my member would be drawn to that as a potential feature. I think that actually could be quite useful. Maybe it's something that Microsoft will consider adding to the functionality of dynamic group membership with sensitivity labels. But just to clarify, once again, it is purely at this time to protect the, the group settings and the sharing settings and the access to the actual uh, dynamic user group. So there you have it. Okay, so pretty straightforward stuff, a bit of PowerShell trickery there. I don't really know why we can't just have a button to enable that or why it's not already pre-enabled. Uh, thoughts on that in the comments if you know a reason that I don't, but very useful indeed. Thank you so much. Let me know what you thought of the video in the comments. Have you used this feature? What do you think about it? And if you've enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button that helps me so much to grow the channel we are just about 500 subscribers away from the magic 10,000 i've been working on this for a very long time so if you can spread the word and get everyone you know who will get benefit from this channel to hit that subscribe button it would be massively appreciated okay let's wind this one up and you will take care of yourselves travel well and i will see you very very soon bye bye